What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Stacy. In this video, I'm gonna show you my bike packing gear. Peace. Okay, so the bike I'm riding is called a no cost fluid hardtail 2. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm going to show you what I carry on my backpack is um, the backpack. Check it out. So this backpack uh, got on, I got off eBay for about 60 bucks. It's like a ripple version of the GoPro Seek. It's designed for GoPros and hiking as well. So if you see, I've got a water section in here, a 2 litre water bottle. And then the top section here, it's got the GoPro. So I just open that section and I've got a GoPro over here. I've got the remote. For the GoPro, I've got the um, bar computer. This is the Wahoo Element Bolt. It's a really cool computer. This is a heart monitor for the, the, the bar monitor. I've got the batteries for the GoPro. And over here, I've got all the cables. Okay, so that's all the cable charging cables for the GoPro. When I'm riding the bike as well, I'll be carrying this GoPro. This will be in the front of the bike in the top section. I'll show you later. So in this top section here, um, I'll just show you what I've got there. I've got my toiletry stuff. I've got my toothbrush. And then I've got the um, soap. So in the middle section here, I have the um, drone and the, and the remote. The drone I use is a DJI Air 2S. This is probably the heaviest part of the whole trip. So with the drone and the remote together, it weighs 1.5 kgs. That's my drone I have to take it with. I can't leave that behind. A bit of coffee over there. Check it out. This so I can drink some coffee while I ride the bike. We'll have a break and then I have an EpiPen as well. I'm a bit allergic to um, fans. This part here is a chest mount for the bag. See, so I'll just mount this over here. It goes in the corners. Uh, this is awesome. So I'll be riding with this on the whole time. And then I have my gloves as well. And then I have my head scarf. This is to protect me from the sun. If it's super hot, I just put it around my head like this. Ah! Cool. And then this section over here, I've got the poncho. This is like a raincoat. I've got some wet wipes here. So the weight of the backpack, if I weigh it, with everything inside, 5.1 kgs. Okay, so that's the backpack done. So the next bag I'm going to show you is a saddle bag. Whoa! You have the saddle bag here. Um, this bag here goes under the back seat. So what's on top of my bag here is my sandals. After I ride for a whole day, I just want to air my feet out. I just walk around in sandals. So in the saddle bag, the main thing I carry here is my sleeping bag and my cooking equipment and a bit of uh, some other stuff. So I got my gas here for the cooking. This is my cooking stuff here. So in here I've got a cooking pot with a, um, a special like gas fire thing. A spork over here. I've got some other knives, uh, some some other stuff here. I probably don't need those. My camping stove. So this is my towel. This is a laugh towel I got from BCF. This is awesome. This is a laugh save with this. This is my pillow. See, I've got a, a bit of a, a blow-up pillow here. I got that from Kmart, $2 for the pillow. The laugh straw, water filter. So what happens is um, how you work it is uh, you, you just fill it up with uh, river water like that. And then you put the filter on top and then you just squeeze it out into your bottle. And it takes away 99.9999% of the bacteria, so it's pretty good. So to store it, you have to actually make take all the air out, store it, that's good. This comes with the injection. Um, a laugh straw injection, so after you finish using this what you do is you fill this up with water and you pump it out this way so so when you push water in this way it takes out all the um, dirt from the filter it reverses it so the next thing I've got here is the uh, mattress this is called a Sea to Summit it's a very thin mattress but it helps a lot when you sleep my sleeping bag here, check it out this is called a Denali Light 50. So this sleeping bag is actually um, 0.87 of a kg. It's super light. The sleeping bag is designed for uh, plus 10 degrees. And that's it guys. So I'll tell you how much this weighs. I'll just pack everything in. So how I pack the uh, saddle bag is I put, I have to pack a real tart. So I'll put the sleeping bag in there because it, it actually like tapers to the bottom. So you don't want to put the heavy stuff on top of the saddle bag because you get what we call a fish tail. So when you ride in the bike, the tail just got to swing like that. So you put all the heavy stuff on the bottom. So if your bike pack has a rolly top a part on the top, roll it downwards. Because if you roll it if you roll it upwards like that, and if it rains, the rain's just got a um, puddle over there on the top. 
So have it down until the rain just comes off the back, you know what I mean? So just make it super tight. See it? Nice and tight, okay? That's what you want. You want it to be nice and tight. I actually got my bags uh, custom made by a company called Urban Desert. I found them on eBay, they're pretty good. So they actually custom made my saddle bag. Uh, they designed it so it doesn't sit as low under the saddle. The reason is it's because they've got 29 inch wheels on the back and they're pretty high. So it works pretty well, the, the guys did a good job. The weight of this bag is 3.5 kgs. So the next bag I'm gonna show you guys is the frame bag. Check it out. Frame bag, woo! Uh, this frame bag was custom made as well by Urban Desert. So I measured the frame and then I sent them the measurements and then they designed the bag to the frame of my bar. In the frame bag is I have to bring some chain lube. You have to lubricate the chain. I'm gonna do it every day when I ride the bar. Yeah, I have some sunscreen as well. I've got a small first aid kit over here. Check it out. So I've got like plasters and uh, paracetamol, just some painkillers and stuff. A bike tool set over here. This, these are pretty heavy. It's up to you if you want to bring one of these. Basically just need tools to take off the wheels. But I'm gonna bring this with just in case. Then I've got my head torch over here. Check it out. I've got my pump over here. So what I've done with my pump, um, instead of carrying instead of carrying a roll of tape, I've just put the tape around the pump like that. See? So if I need some tape, I'll just um, untape it. See? Just to save space. That's a bit of a hack if you want to think of it like that. And then I've got another spare strap over here. That's in case I need to strap something on the bar. Got some cable ties. This I have for the um, the cooking. So. I was very hesitant to bring this with, but uh, I decided I'm gonna bring this with. This is to protect the, the fire from wind. So the more wind that blows in your fire on the gas stove, the more gas you use. I thought I'd bring this with. It's a sacrifice like two put uh, 0 0.25 grams. It's not, it's not heavy at all, it's pretty light, but um, I'd rather have uh, gas to make my food instead of starving. So I've got my punch it kit over there then I have this over here this is just to take off the wheels if I get a flat tire I have a torch over here check it out I've got some spare batteries for the torch this is a good torch I've got a knife over here this is just to uh, cut wood if I need to make a fire or something uh, just just for just to have a knife on me you know what I mean just to make stuff do stuff and this is the batteries for the head torch and that's it it's done okay guys so the next bag I'm gonna show you is the handlebar bag Check it out, this is it here. In the front of my handlebar bag, I have a um, solar powered power bank. So while I'm riding the bike, uh, the, the sun can charge the power bank, can charge my equipment. So I'll always have power. So how my handlebar bag goes, is um, the middle section here, that's the tent. This side here, that's the, that's the clothes. And this side here is the food. Okay, so I'll take out the clothes first. I'll show you. So it's important that you pack the right amount of clothes. You don't want to pack extra and you don't want to pack too less. Because um, it is sort of winter in Australia, so it does get a bit cold. Every day when I ride the bike, I want to have a new pair of socks. I'm going to be going for three days. I'll have socks on already, so every day I wake up, I'll have a new pair of socks. So I've got two socks over there. I've got some sleeping socks just in case it gets really cold. I've got a jersey. I've just got one jersey. So I had a choice between this or long pants, so I chose this. I'd rather um, make my top half uh, warm instead of, the bo instead of the bottom. And I've got some uh, boxes over there, and that's it. And this side here, this is the food section. So, at the end of the video, I'll show you what food I'm bringing, but I'll just show you how I pack some of the food, okay? So, this is uh, for snacks. I've got some noodles over here, two packs of noodles, two cans of tinned food. These are tuna, um, tuna and salmon, okay? This is very nice to have on the way trips, it gives you a lot of energy. I have four bags of soup, three packets of the small size from backcountry. So these are pretty awesome when you camp and go on away trips because all you do is put hot water in there and wait about 10 to 15 minutes and it's a whole meal. I just realized as well, I'm gonna bring two shirts with. So after I ride using my shirt during the daytime, I'm just gonna wash it at, at night and let it dry. And then um, at night time, I'm gonna put on another shirt and just leave in the morning with the same shirt. And while I'm riding the bike, I can leave the other shirt on one of the bags so I can just dry it during the day. And then the last thing I have in the bag is a tent. This is called a Denali Zephyr 2. This tent is really awesome. It's a two-man tent. It's 2.2 kgs as well. I've used it a few times for my camping trips. So 
So now I'll, I'll show you how much the bag weighs, okay? So as I'm riding the bike throughout the days, I know it's gotta get lighter, because I am gonna eat the food. Check it out, so that's packed. I wanna make sure I don't forget this, because um, if I don't have that, I don't have power. 5.3 kgs, that's not that bad. Okay guys, so the last bag I'm gonna show you is called the Top Chew bag. This is a, a real important bag for me, because it's gonna keep all my equipment, it's gonna keep my GoPro there as well. This sits on top of the bike, right in front of you. So um, I'm gonna store my GoPro there. I'm gonna keep all my snacks in there to keep me going. This is for day one. And I have my uh, charging cable here. This is for my cell phone. So this connects to the um, solar powered power bank that I showed you. I will also carry one GoPro battery inside this bag as well. So the total weight of this bag is one kg exactly. Woo, one kg, woo! This is a snack part, okay guys? So what I've done is I've got all my snacks for the first day inside the tube bag over here okay that's what I'm gonna have for the first day then I've sorted it out um, the second day will be this one here so I'll just put that inside of the uh, tube bag the top tube bag and then that's the third day because the third day is going to be the shortest day I haven't put as much in here these are all energy bars and isotonic as well that's just to keep me give me energy I've got a few sour sweets over here just to keep my energy up as well so all of this is basically for the top tube bag. So the total weight for all the snacks is 0.7 kgs. And last of all, I've got the water. So I've got three bottles of water um, that connects to the bar, and then I have two liters of water in the backpack. The weight of the water with the backpack I did show earlier on. These are, this is all the water that's gonna connect to the bar. 2.7 kgs. Okay guys, so this is all my bike packing gear I've showed you. So in total, including all the water and the snacks and all, it all comes to 20 kgs. But bear in mind, the, the more you drink water and the more you eat, it is gonna get lighter. And if you want, you can actually stop at shops on the way and buy stuff instead of carrying all the food. But my plan is to, uh, when I bike pack, I try and eat just what I bring. I don't like to stop and buy stuff because I want to try to keep it a bit more real, except for coffee. If I see a good coffee shop, I'm going to buy some coffee, you know what I mean? I just wanted to show you some of the other accessories I have on the bike. See, so over here, I've got the, the bike chain. This is handy to have, especially if you're camping in busy campgrounds. So what you do when you sleep at night, you put it around your, your bike, and then you can run some of the chain into your pole in the tent. So if someone tries to take your bike, your whole tent will shake, and then you'll wake up. And over here, I've got a spare tube as well. That's in case you get a puncture. And my phone sits here when I ride the bike and my wahoo over here. I've got my torch. That's my flashlight. I've got another water bottle over here on the side of the handlebar. I've got my two water bottles in the front. And don't forget, guys, save some space for a snake bite kit. These are really handy. If you get bitten by a snake or a spider or a blue ring octopus or something, and you've got some backup here. I've put a seat cover on the seat. So this is for long distance, um, it makes the seat a bit wider and a bit uh, more cushy But when I go to the track, I just take the seat cover off So what I've done to the frame, I don't know if you can see but I put tape under the straps Because uh, when you're riding the bike in long distance, the frame back moves And then it can take some of the shine away, the paint You can see over here, I've taken the frame bag away I put strips of tape over there, just so the frame bag straps don't wear away the paint. So that will make your the paint last longer on the bike. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you like these types of videos, hit a subscribe, check us out. I'll see you next time. Peace.